Essentially, Jürgen wanted a studio, a place to work. But in his world, that is quite a few different things. It means shooting photographs, of course, then also making books, um, making exhibitions, as well as kind of receive lots of people. Um, so really, that's where the idea of several buildings and several gardens, so somewhere where lots of different types of shoots can happen in a very natural setting. Jürgen used to uh, share his home with Studio. We wanted to make this new building have the same kind of uh, moments of intimacy. So he still has the kitchen table, which is where he does uh, meet clients and where he works. There's a library, there's a sauna, there's a gym. There's a really kind of private inner world to the studio. And then there's the big studio in the middle where he lays out and does shoots and things. And then there's the public building at the front, which has different collaborators and staff and an archive. This equality between garden and internal space all the way through the building is a really beautiful part of it. That really reduced material palette that has texture but allows it to be background and Jürgen's work and photography to be, be the foreground always in the space. There's a sort of quality of light both within and in the gardens which is almost kind of archaic and I think that that makes an amazing setting for the kind of work that Jürgen does. I'm using every single centimetre of, of this space in a photograph, every bit of it, and, and, and it's a tremendous fun. It's like a haven of, uh, of, of quietness and freedom and, and, and madness. It's, it's just brilliant. For me, it's excellent. <laughs>